in the last year we faced a number of challenges, uh, waiting times for our patients, um, but in particular we were facing very significant waiting times in the winter of 2014-2015. We had uh, an A&E department which was overcrowded and on a daily basis we were, we were cancelling operations. There's a national mandate to make sure that 95% um, of patients are treated and discharged um, or admitted from the emergency department. And we, our, our performance was falling into the um, low 80s, uh, low 80% level. Um, in terms of cancellations, we were cancelling up to, if we go back to December uh, 2014, we were cancelling about 500 patients a month for, for, for surgery. And I think when you see your performance um, slipping, there, there's a collective will um, to, to change things. The Trust thought that it was unacceptable. Our colleagues in general practice, the community, our colleagues in commissioning, and our patients all recognised that this was something that needed to be tackled. It was unacceptable. We got the teams um, in the hospital together, both in the emergency department and also importantly in the rest of the hospital beyond the emergency department, colleagues in our um, care of the older person wards. Um, and we got our doctors, managers, nurses, um, our allied health professionals together and we said, look, what should we really be focusing on here? And we focused very hard on two things. The first was the model of emergency care in the emergency department itself. And secondly, equally importantly, we focused very, very hard on the length of stay of patients in our inpatient beds. We looked at other organisations, adopted um, some, of, some, of the, some of the principles and, and some of the methodology that other hospitals have used. We've um, increased uh, what we refer to as ambulatory care pathways. So pathways to get patients, uh, to get them the investigations they need, the treatment they need, without having to be admitted to the hospital. And there's a whole variety of conditions now in Addenbrooke's we treat without the need for patients to be admitted to a hospital bed. We developed a new medical decision unit to guide the placement of patients into the most appropriate part um, of, of, of the hospital. So I think if I was to take the um, focus on length of stay reduction, we really looked very hard at three areas of, of concerted action. The first was um, having talked to our colleagues in Nottingham, um, a real push on the safer care bundle for our wards, which is really making sure that the patient is being treated in the right place at the right time as quickly as possible. Um, secondly, we reached out to the Emergency Care Improvement Programme to Diane Fuller and Dr Ian Sturgis um, and they gave us a huge amount of support, a constructive challenge, the implementation of the Green Day, our internal professional standards um, and have proved a huge support to us. And then thirdly, um, what's called multi-agency discharge working which is really getting community services, social care, together with staff in the hospital and other parts of the National Health Service to work out how we can get patients out appropriately as quickly as possible. We feel now that the, the hospital functions, uh, it, it, it's become a lot more efficient. We've seen a 7% reduction in length of stay um, over this period for patients who are coming in as emergencies. Uh, last December, or December just gone, uh, we, we for the first time in o over a year managed to hit the four hour performance in the emergency department, so got 95% of patients processed. And in terms of um, can cancellation of surgery, that, that fell by, by a factor of 10 from about 500 a month to, to less than 50 a month um, um, in, in December 2015. When you're in difficulty, it's very important not to be overly inward looking. Um, I think you need to reach out to other agencies who've got good ideas and are you know, mostly willing to help. If you give your teams, your doctors, managers, nurses, the time to reflect on what they can change to improve patient care, uh, they're quite often able to come up with what the right answer is and then will collectively put their shoulder to that wheel. We have capitalised on that here in Addenbrooke's using all the, all the expertise and goodwill of individuals in the hospital.